Hi, so a client asked me to tell him the tile surface that he's gonna need to order for his roof, for his house. And only then I realized that I don't know of any tool in Archicad to let you calculate this. So I looked it up online and I found the video, I'm gonna leave the link below, and the website from a manufacturer. And they have a 3D object that you can use to be able to calculate the area of the roof and also some other cool features of these objects so this is what I'm going to show you today first of all once you go and download the library you're gonna have to go to file li libraries and object library manager you're gonna click on add and then you're gonna go to wherever you left your your LCF file, this is how it's gonna look like. You're gonna click on open and then OK. Then you have to wait for the library to load. Select your object tool, go to settings and here uh, you're gonna have the new library of beer. It's this title, it's I think in Spanish, I'm not sure. Then you're gonna click it and open it and here are the, all the objects that you downloaded okay so, and these are different tool tiles so for the top for the for corners and stuff like that what we're gonna use is the regular tile we're gonna click ok then we're gonna go to a floor plan here I'm on the roof plan I'm just gonna place the object. I'm gonna click on show layer. And this is one tile. Let's go see it in 3D if it appears somewhere. And here it is. If you want the shape of it to be a little bit more, more detailed, you can go to, you can select it, go to details here under uh, under the first tab choose custom settings and then the detail level I'm guessing this is what it means you're gonna put alto which is the highest you're gonna click OK and this is how the tile looks very detailed having it in uh, more detailed will also maybe you can use it for rendering have the roof look a little bit more realistic but for now I'm just gonna leave it to the uh, basic shape so that it's easier to work with okay once we have it like that I'm gonna select it once again go to settings and here under custom settings I'm gonna select this I'm gonna tick this option and this is gonna let me draw out a bigger area full of tiles I'm gonna go to OK and then it already we can see it change in 3d but it's easier to work with it in 2d uh, the slope is given by this arrow so i'm gonna rotate it once you've done that you want you're gonna want to select it go to settings and here also under custom settings you're gonna input over here you're gonna, I'm going to select the degree option, so not percent, and here I'm going to put 19 degrees, because that's the slope of my roof. I'm going to click OK, then I'm going to place it where I want it, and this is the contour that we really care about, so the one that has the fill of the tiles underneath. I'm going to check in 3D, see how it looks. and we can see that it's not really the same slope as my roof so I'm gonna go to settings again and make sure that the inclination, I don't know for what reason this didn't change maybe you should check this, I'm not sure yes that's why you should, I don't know, free inclination I'm guessing so that you can change it however you want and then click OK. OK, so once you've done that, you can select your object. 
So once you drill it out and make sure it has the same slope as your roof, you can select it, go to settings, and here under the first tab, you're gonna have so custom setting definition is I don't know what that is. I'm guessing the primary settings. You're gonna have here the area, so nine. 9.06 square meters in this case for maybe for this area here you could have just calculated yourself by math but for the larger and more complex shapes it's just too tedious for me so I prefer to just use this tool so for example I'm just gonna drag a copy of this over here I'm gonna do another one for you to show and I'm just gonna trace out the shape of this other roof here. So I have it here already, so it's much easier once you've set out the slope and everything else you can just repeat this everywhere and once again you can select it and just go under custom settings over here you have the square meters of the tile area so yeah i hope this is useful to somebody for me it was it made the whole process of calculating the roof tiles way easier hopefully somebody else will find this useful I will leave the links to the video where I found this and also to the manufacturer for you to download this object. You'll have to make an account but it's not a big deal, it's done in two minutes. Okay, hope this helps, bye!